Morning, morning guys. Fixing to get day one kicked off here. Absolutely beautiful morning. I know we're all fired up, ready to go. Everybody's anxious. We're hoping, uh, especially me and my buddies that are going and doing the offshore game, hoping that, hoping they bite early. Hopefully light up that uh, leaderboard here pretty early. Got my Marshall Gary. What do you think about it, man? We gonna catch him today? Hopefully. All right. He's bringing, he, he's fished this lake a couple hundred times, so he's bringing some, some good juju in the boat. Good juju. All right, guys, get off here, fix and go have some fun, catch some fish. See y'all at 3.20 this afternoon. Later. Boat number 35. 35. All right. Boat, boat number 37. Boat number 38. That's what's so important. So I started out here with a rattle trap. Didn't get bite, bit in like 15 minutes. Switched up something slower. Just gotta keep your mind open. Change your plan. So I started the morning um, just on some offshore grass and I caught those first two pretty quick once I, I switched to you know dragon stuff and then it just died down real quick. Um, so on my way to Kissimmee, uh, I thought I'd stop by another little offshore spot that I had found. So I came into this spot, um, it, it was right by the log down there at the south end of Toho. Um, I knew there weren't any big ones in here, but I was just really, really hoping to catch another uh, few fish to fill out a limit before I went down. Wasn't able to do it. I caught this little just absolute rat of a fish. 
um, to make number four, but I had to get down to Kissimmee at this point. So just got back to the house today as you saw it didn't definitely didn't go as planned um, I'm sitting in 112th right now 910 and I honestly I got lucky because I caught one good one like three and a half four pounder it's a good one it's not that's really what I need to be catching just period but so that kind of saved me from being down in 170th which I'm very thankful for but I'd really really have to bust them to make the cut tomorrow um, I'm eyeballing the, the Forcewood Cup, obviously, it's my home state. So tomorrow, plan is just go out and just. I probably, honestly, I'll probably just go straight to Kissimmee, um, go fish all new water, and see what we can come up with. Now, this is everybody wants to see the inside of what professional fishing is about. Everybody sees the 30-pound bags coming in, but where everything goes down is when you're up against the wall, like right now, um, when you're down there and you have ground to make up. That's when it's how you act. Then you know, like I was at the I was at the boat ramp earlier. And people like have a bad day, leaving, squealing their tires, acting a fool just because they had a bad day. If you're acting like that and you get all in your in your feelings and in your head about about how things went, you've already you've already beat yourself the next day. So, gotta keep your head up, make a plan, and figure uh, figure out how to execute it. So that's what I'm fixing to do. Got the rods, fixing to do a little bit of retine. Savannah's coming in. Um, which is my wife for anybody who doesn't know. Um, so get tied up, showered up, maybe go have a nice dinner with her. Go back after, after them tomorrow. Go try to execute a plan and see if we, what we can't put together. So hopefully it's a good day. See y'all later. All right guys, about to get day number two kicked off. Have a little bit or a lot bit of a hole dug from yesterday, but uh, Got a little change of game plan. Going to run to Kissimmee. Going to stop by where I caught that big one yesterday morning. Um, and then we're going to Kissimmee and just fishing all new water. Literally looked at the grass said, where have I not practiced? And uh, probably just spend the whole day in there. It's a huge place. I know there's a lot of fish in there to be caught. Just got to go do it. My well, Marshall John. Hey, how you doing? He said he, said he needs me to catch them as bad uh, as I do because he's looking to get paid too. So we're going to go out and see what we can't do. Either way, we're going to have some fun, catch some big old Florida bass. See y'all this afternoon. So everybody just heard what the original plan was going into day two. Um, but I had at this point had jumped off a big one in practice, caught a four pounder and just another keeper off this spot. And I thought, you know what? It's on the way to lock. I have to stop there. And that's where things kind of changed.
Good. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, that's what we needed. What are you talking about? Golly, he got bigger as soon as he it, hit the deck. You were like, I don't know, hard to tell. And I saw him come out of the water. I'm like, no, it's a big one. Son. Wow. Woo. How about that, guys? Woo. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Got the old handshake again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So after catching these first two off of uh, that spot that I just kind of stopped on, I hopped around a little bit and then ended up back at my day one first stop spot. What oh, was you saying? No, nope. he's small. Oh yeah. He was yeah. running right at me. Because that's not the way the other ones were. But it's still I don't like, know. might be a keeper. Like a bat. Don't... Oh, I think that's a keeper. I'm going to go with yes. Oh! I thought he was better and hooked better than that. Mm-mm-mm, Cody. Cody? Yeah. The net threw you thought by the time you got the net and tried to one-arm it that he would I didn't off. think he was a three-pounder because he, he was running around that There's one. That's a good one. Going to consume me, guys. Hold that one up a little, real quick. There's one. Another good one, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Please, Lord. Please, 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 please. Freaking post spawners, dude, they're coming to us. This is nice. Look at that. He had that one gobbled. You gotta put your hand down there to get it out. Gobbled it. Or maybe you waited a little while. <sighs> gobbled it. Yeah, but we're, we're getting there. Number four should be number five. Yeah. You got a picture? Yeah, I got a picture. Yeah, I got a couple already. The, all of them seem cookie cutter. They're all the same freaking size. You notice they're post spawn? Yeah, I see them skinny there. I mean, I don't care, but they're just, that means they're just coming to us. They're just coming. They're done. They're coming. Put them in the box. Number five, guys. Not what we want, but it's always nice to have five in the boat. Yeah. You never know. You don't ever know. Anything could happen. Bad luck. 
We don't you want never that. know when that right there is going to be points with Forcewood Cup or paycheck, <laughs> whatever. You want to know what you're fishing with? Just tell them. All right, Lord. Oh, that's a good one. Hold her, hold her tight. Tell them. A I'm just going to tell them a, a finesse worm. Is that good? Oh, that's got to be good. Keep that pressure on. Just keep it. Yeah, baby. There we go. All right, man. Damn, That's going to be a good cold, guys. Let me blow you up a little bit so it's better. So really after this little flurry you just saw, I mean, it all went down in like an hour and a half, two hours, um, had several bites out there on this offshore grass. And I got to the point I knew it was around 17, 18 pounds. And, you know, really to make a run at possibly fishing in the top 30, which would be huge. Remember I was in 112. So to even make a run at it, I knew I needed at least a four or five pound bite so I would keep rotating these offshore spots. Wasn't happening here. I'm just flipping some Kissimmee grass. I went looking for bed fish. Um, the rest of the day though was was pretty fruitless. I mean, got a few small bites, a few blow ups, but just none of the quality bites I really needed um, to get that giant bag. So had a great little flurry that morning, but then it just kind of got stale after that. <laughs> We'll see you here in a minute. These Florida fish, they're all spawned out. I may have 15 pounds. You, you never know. You never know how it's going to turn out. But either way, heck of a lot better than yesterday. We'll see. So I ended up taking 18 pounds, 10 ounces across the stage on day two. Not quite enough to get me into the top 30 cut. But hey, starting out in 112th, it was enough to catapult me all the way up to 44th which at the end of the day gets me into the 38 spot in points. Absolutely saved my, my tournament and possibly my year. Very, very, very happy with how the day ended up. Hey, if y'all like this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up, subscribe so we can catch all the new ones, and I'll catch y'all next time. Mm -hmm.